Good morning. It's Wednesday, June 10th. Today we're still sharing thoughts about the word gentleness. And today I've decided I'd like to share with you about a person who is significant in my life growing up and even now. Um, when I was a child, our family had a maid, um, a elderly black woman who took care of my brother and me, and she would help around our house. And she had also served my mother's family when my mother was a child. Her name was Cheney King Cromer. Um, I remember being in a stroller. She pushed me in the stroller a lot. And I remember Cheney being a gentle soul. And she was just always so kind and she was the first black person I met and knew, and so, um, and I loved her dearly. Um, I remember, I remember when she died, how hard that was. And I remember learning then, I was um, in high school, I remember learning then that she um, was born at home and there was no birth certificate and uh, she didn't know how old she was so we thought she might be in her late 80s or early 90s but no one really knew because as a black person uh, her birth was not recorded and that struck me at that time um, i have many fond memories of cheney but mainly that she was a gentle soul and um, so today I think of her, and in memory of her, I'll read these verses from uh, Philippians chapter 4, beginning with verse 4. Listen now for the word of the Lord. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say rejoice. Let your gentleness be known to everyone. The Lord is near. Do not worry about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your request be made known to God. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Cheney believed, I'm going to keep preaching, I guess. Cheney believed in God. And so um, when it says, let your gentleness be known to everyone, the Lord is near. When she was near, I was never afraid. Um, I knew God was looking out for me because of her presence with me, and that was so wonderful. She had a great sense of humor, uh, a delightful laugh, and um, I just remember her presence always being one of um, protection and care and love, and she did that with such gentleness and such grace. I'm so happy that I knew her. And um, I think now about the struggle and the stories that we need to hear from our black brothers and sisters. And the other night I watched Just Mercy and was really just kind of torn apart about that too. And um, so I want to read verse 8 here, continuing on chapter 4 in Philippians, verse 8. Finally, beloved, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is pleasing, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence and if there is anything worthy of praise, Think about these things. Keep on doing the things that you have learned and received and heard and seen in me, and the God of peace will be with you. I think that final verse, this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I think that final verse um, really is important for us to remember that though we are gentle, in spirit, and we know the Lord is near, there is still 
um, a command to do and think on these things. Whatever, oh, the whatever's beautiful. And look at those words. The words are true. And I think so much of what we are seeing and hearing now, we need to get to the truth. Whatever is honorable, we hold life in great honor. Whatever is just. I mean, if people have done horrendous acts to other people, they need to be held accountable. So justice needs to occur. Whatever is pure, you know, whatever is good there, whatever is commendable and doing acts of truth telling and um, showing honor to the body of Christ or to the body of the human temple, the human body as a temple of God, any of those things, whatever is pleasing, those things that are pleasing to God, if there is any excellence and if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. So I'm encouraged that when we think about gentleness, it also leads us that a life of gentleness is what is needed in order for us to share and listen appropriately to one another's stories. Let us pray. Oh, gracious God, we ask your blessing upon all of America as we seek to hear the truth, to listen to stories that may be hard to hear for us who are white, and also to um, respond appropriately so that what we do is an act that is excellent and pleasing and brings you great glory and praise. Oh God, be with us and strengthen us. Strengthen us with gentleness so that we might be your faithful people. And we give thanks for witnesses to your love and gentleness like Cheney. In Christ's name we pray.